Hey all! I've recently been diving into the Crystal Empire in the Frozen North in general on an unrelated topic, and thought I'd look further into something weird I noticed a while ago. During the cutoff between episodes one and two of the Crystal Empire two-parter, we get a wider view of the location, with a massive wall of snowstorms rapidly bearing down. It's during this particular scene we see something large and black with hard corners and straight sides sitting beneath the clouds. The object doesn't align with any pre-existing features of the landscape and doesn't appear in any following shots. Nor does it move with or fit the contours of the clouds as you'd expect from a simple shadow. It just stays there. It also seems to create its own shadow, implying the thing is literally raised up above ground level. Realistically, it's most likely to be an animation error, or as a friend of the channel put it, background screening that would normally blend in but accidentally ended up being way more visible. But how exactly do we explain this shape in universe? The only Occam's razor I can think of is that King Sombra himself had something to do with it. We've already seen him generate large black crystals or create magical shadows on the ground, either of which could be involved. The only issue there is the question of why he creates such an object in the first place. I mean, if it was to block any escape route, why would he then get rid of it? But if this isn't Sombra's doing, what exactly are we left with? The only comparable object capable of hovering in midair would be one of the many airships we've seen across the franchise. It could be a similar, albeit larger, vehicle was travelling over the frozen north, only to end up pulled towards the Crystal Empire by air pressure following the initial collapse of the force field. That said, we've yet to see an airship that actually fits the object's appearance, and the theory still doesn't fully explain how this thing managed to eventually remain stationary despite the heavy winds. Given the number of easter eggs pertaining to science fiction franchises within MLP, something similar to the Borg Cube from Star Trek or the Allspark from Transformers might offer a better explanation, especially since Transformers is now canon to MLP. Though even that raises a number of questions. Why didn't the Borg take over Equestria, or why didn't the Allspark bring something to life, and where did they go anyway? The final and perhaps weirdest possible explanation would be a temporary fault or glitch in the fabric of reality. The nearby Crystal Empire was recently banished for over a thousand years, yet the locals experienced no tangible loss in time. Either the entire city was moved forwards in time, or it was banished to a timeless space such as Limbo. Either option might be enough to create cracks in space and time. In fact, there is something of a precedent for similar phenomena, especially in Volume 2 of the MLP manga. Also, it is literally an animation error, so a fault in the fabric of reality does kinda go with the territory. <sighs> okay, so... Again, what do you guys think? Is there something else I'm missing that's potentially relevant? Let me know, and thank you for watching.